Canned tuna is on your yes list, but does it matter if they're water packed or oil packed? Well, if they're packed in olive oil, they're perfectly fine, but water is just fine. Try to avoid the ones that are packed in soybean oil or canola oil, which are absolute no-nos. The reason in general canned tuna is on the list and you don't see tuna on the list, canned tuna is generally small tuna and they have very little mercury. In fact, there's a couple companies that there is no mercury in their canned tuna. Uh, bigger tuna, sashimi grade, has a lot of mercury in it. And you should approach sashimi grade tuna cautiously. It should be a special treat. I have, unfortunately, a number of sushi eaters uh, who are, do it on a regular basis that have high mercury level, levels that we have to get down. Why is prosciutto on the yes list, but salami is on the no list? Good question. Prosciutto, by law, prosciutto di Parma, is from fresh, from specially raised pigs. They're actually fed Parmesan cheese rounds, and they're aged appropriately. Prosciutto from the United States isn't treated that way. Prosciutto from other countries is not treated that way. Salami, as a general rule, is probably fairly safe if you know who raised the pig. But we don't, in general, know the pig. There's no control over that process here in the United States and other countries. So prosciutto di Parma, that actually comes from that part of Italy, uh, has exact standards on how the, what the pigs are fed. I was just in Italy a few weeks ago and had a prosciutto that was raised in Tuscany outside the city of Montalcino by the Ferragamo family. And these pigs were fed acorns, exactly like 5J ham in Spain. And this prosciutto is actually good for you because the fat is actually pure omega-3 fat. And same way with 5J ham. You can five, find 5J ham on the internet. It's wildly expensive. So try some. It's an amazing treat. But the pigs are fed acorns. So another good source of uh, prosciutto.